you liked the video, it will be my honor if you can like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. And there are a lot more figure diorama photography at the end of this video, so please watch and enjoy until the end. Now, let's begin. Hello everyone, how is everybody doing today? And today we are going to be doing a review on Star Wars Black series and this is the Clone War series. And we have Plo Koon on the right and Kifisto on the left. One thing I just recognized is that the Kifisto seems to be super super small for comparing to Plo Koon. So I don't know if that's right. I, I, saw, I saw he was supposed to be quite big, like quite tall, but from looking at it, he looked very tiny. Hmm, could be just me. And not only that, this Plocoon might I might be wrong, but his eyes look slightly odd. His left and right seem to be very different. Like his the eye. Oops, I'll just focus there. His eyes seem to be very wide, uh, vertically on this side while this side is more like proper i don't know if you can get what i'm saying it's 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 uh it's weird because it looks this side the eye extended higher like wide higher for some reason it just kind of i don't know i think that is a print miss because on the sculpt his his eye does come out to here and it's not focusing right, so there we go. The eyes um, is supposed to be coming up to here, but then his eye is actually printed top. So probably they misprinted on my figure. I think that's why. You could, and it looks quite odd. Like this side is completely fine. They nailed it. The, the other side, yeah, they completely missed it because I can see the print coming out from his eye socket so yeah that's the print issue oh well um still a legendary jedi he is just that he got um defeated by sidious in like a second or so which is a little disappointment but if you did watch the the animated series he was quite a badass and look at that <laughs> hair tentacle i don't know if these hair tentacle can do anything like can they like move around and you know like hold on to a lightsaber because if he can then you know goodbye general grievous because you know he could be holding on to like i don't know like 12 lightsabers or something like that and that'll be quite you know <laughs> that'll be a quite epic scene like grievous you know brings out four lightsaber and then you know kick pistols like bring out like how many hairs does he have one two three four five six seven eight nine uh ten eleven twelve and there's 14 so then all of a sudden all his tentacle moves up you know, wielding 14 lightsaber plus he has two on hand and that would be so much fun. <laughs> My crazy idea sometimes goes everywhere. But anyhow, uh, due to this hair, he does not have much head articulation and that's kind of, you know, understandable. Even his sideshow uh, figure I had, I give it away, that uh, he had minimal articulation. He can't, he can kind of look down, but then it's going back to his original um, place. So just consider as the head is a statue. There's absolutely no way you can kind of move him around. His elbow does come up that much, which is really nice, decent, and his elbow goes in that much, really fine. He can, I don't know, if, no, he can't wobble around his uh, body, but he, he could twist 360. He can split that much, he can kick out that much, and his, uh, his knee, which is quite, uh, rigged but it can bend that much which is quite decent and a little more articulation on his ankle nice i like it and if you're wondering all the jedi do have a different kind of belt strap so here we go he has a belt strap of this kind looks quite simple so once the only issue I have for him is just that he's a little too small for Kit Fisto, I think. I might be wrong. And Plo Koon is my favorite Jedi. I love him. And he the head. My god, the texture or the paint. 
That is phenomenal. That is wonderful. Like, if somebody else produced Kifisto painted head, I don't think I need it. I could just weather it a slightly more onto this base head and I'm, I'm done. I'm good. I'm happy. That's how good this head is. Like, I know Bandai won't make, be making Kifisto, but if they do, head wise, I'm okay with him. I'll buy Bandai one because it's probably a better articulation, but still, I'm happy with the head. Now, Plokun can look up that much. He can't kind of look down at all, but that's okay. It's Plokun. He's kick ass. And Wobble Wobble, that's great. And his shoulder goes up that much. His elbow goes in that much. And he has 360. He does have a better, you know, dancing uh, mechanism going on to his uh, abs, so which is nice. And he can split out that much. And he can kick out that much and his knee bends that much which is almost like Kefisto and he had a decent ankle articulation which is all nice I love this figure it's wonderful and if you're also wondering his belt design is like so <coughs> excuse me very simple, but yet very a uh, Jedi like. And I always was wondering what this is the whole time. It looked like a bullet, but you know, uh, in Star Wars they don't have much uh, physical projectile weaponry, so probably not. And for his hand, he had a well, it is a lightsaber wielding hand, but it could be also used as a force push kind of thing. Or Chief Pistol had a unique. Um, uh, force lightning, well, not force lightning, force energy projectile power. It's it's almost like force lightning, but it's it's a it one of the taboo uh, uh, powers that the Jedi look at. But he does have such powers, which is also awesome, nice, and for Kefisto, he had a hand of such. So he does have you can you can have um, both lightsabers wielded in for Kefisto. So let me just try to put that in. Yep, you can have one and you can have two. It's a little gappy on his left hand, but you can do double lightsaber if you would like to. And that is Kefisto's lightsaber. Yep, and my Plo Koon lightsaber is like so. And you can make him hold on to it quite well, and yeah, wonderful. I don't know if you can kind of have him hold on to the other side. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, I think you can, just that his hand needs to be very extended out. So you can, yes, you can have it um, holding on onto his left hand, and he can just do the force push or force lightning or whatever on his right. Now, the great thing about uh, Plo Koon is that he comes with a Jedi robe. And I don't know why they didn't add a Jedi robe with uh, Kid Pistol, because that's something that we all want with Jedi. Like, it's it's... We want all the Jedi coming with a, a robe, so it, I think it was the missed opportunity. Now I'm gonna do this outside the screen, so give me a second. So here he is, or here they are, Plo Koon and Kifisto lined up with the other Jedi Master. We have SH figure art Yoda, a Black Series um, Mace Windu, and we have Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan from figure arts so that's how he's arranged and again maybe Kif is still a little too tall I don't know I'm, I'm just I'm just baffled with the uh, Plo Koon being the smallest or the shortest well excluding Yoda of course but he looks very tall and very short and Black Series Mace Windu did came with a robe which is not a oops sorry about that uh, not a great robe but robe regardless and Plo Koon comes with a, a robe too, which is a little more sophisticated. He got these two little, not too sure what those are, but coming out. But Kifisto, like, does Hasbro hate Kifisto? Like, 
I'm okay. Listen, he's not my favorite, but I, I think he's cool. So I was hoping at least, you know, give him the same robe of Mace Windu or, or Kiss Pistol. I'm not too sure which one he had, but it's, it's a little sad that he's not getting a robe. And if you want Plo Koon to have his hood on, that's how he will look. <laughs> it looked like some kind of dangerous cult, you know, but that that's his uh, robe. So I might want someone to make a custom and uh, I would like to purchase one if they are releasing it. But anyhow, this is a review for my favorite Plo Koon, oh, right, sorry, Plo Koon and Kiss Pistol. And yeah, I'll take some photo with my Jedi Masters and talk to all soon. Thank you very much for watching my figure unboxing photography review. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Currently, there are only 6% of my audience who are subscribed, and I feel a little bit lonely here, so your subscription will give me inspiration to go on further. Thank you again, and see you all soon.